Now, Unsolved Mysteries is something which is an ongoing theme in the Power Universe. For example, some people still believe Raquel is still alive in the timeline of Power. Some people are waiting for the appearance of Breeze with how and why he was so influential in Kanan's life. And who knows what events played out as to why Tasha hated Kanan so much. There's also the question mark surrounding who actually killed Go's father and did Kanan and Breeze have any part to play in his death. But you get the gist. So over the course of the next few weeks, we're going to look at a few of the unsolved mysteries in the Power Universe across Power, Ghost, Force and Raising Kanan. And we're going to start with 2-Bit because one of the biggest questions that was asked across not just Season 2 of Ghost but Force as well was where was 2-Bit and why didn't he come back and collect? But also if he met Kane, could they work together or would they be enemies? But as usual, let's set the foundation and rewind it back to 2 bits journey throughout power and then we're going to come back to the present timeline in Ghost and Force. So 2 bit was introduced in Season 2 as one of Dre's soldiers. It was when Kanan was released from prison when he went to visit Dre. But it was more so in Season 3 where we started to see him play a bit more of a role. So we saw him warn Dre that Tommy was about to be lit up by the Koreans and we even saw him helping Ghost with the whole Milan situation. But as we entered Season 4, Truth was in a bit of trouble because Ghost found himself in prison. So we started with 2 bit along with Spanky working under Tommy but we still saw him working with Dre with the gambling business because of the issues with Truth. Now we saw Dre capitalize on a few situations which he created for himself by having Julio killed. So we saw him becoming the new second in command under Tommy with 2 bit siding with Dre. So as we entered season 5, 2-Bit was his number 2 in his organization but they started having their issues after 2-Bit killed Lorenzo in broad daylight in a drive-by. So we saw him relinquish 2-Bit as his right hand man and replace him with Cristobal. So just keep that in mind because this is something we're going to come back to later on. But by the end of season 5, 2-Bit turned on Dre and we started with season 6 with him working for Tommy again and he is loyal with helping him find the location of Joe Proctor helping him raise money for Tariq, albeit reluctantly, and he does hold it down even though he thought it was Tommy who gave them up at the warehouse when in fact it was Dre. But regardless of whether he thought it was Tommy or not, we saw him holding it down when he was being questioned by Blanca Rodriguez. But on the other hand, Spanky snitched and we all know what happens to snitches. Now, something we can't overlook is the truth robbery where 2-Bit stole Ghost's watch and it's a watch he still has to this day. So just keep that in mind because this is something we're going to come back to in just a moment just like Crystal Ball. But we finish with 2-Bit in power with him keeping his word to Ghost and lighting Dre up in prison. Even though Dre told him Ghost was dead, he wasn't doing it for Ghost, he was doing it because Dre was a snake. But even with everybody dead or gone, we still saw 2-Bit holding it down when he was being questioned by Blanca Rodriguez. So in Power Book 2 Ghost Season 1, 2-Bit was still in prison but he was released in Episode 6 thanks to Davis McLean in the whole Tasha St. Patrick case and again holding it down in court. I never heard of the ghost crew, that's hilarious. You're saying now you weren't part of the drug organization run by Tommy Egan, street name Ghost? Tommy Egan? Who that? But as he became a free man, he went straight for Tariq because Ghost promised him he'll take care of him if he deals with Dre, which he did at the end of power. But this debt was now passed on to Tariq and he did pay up thanks to Effie's help. But with 2 bit saving his life from bars, he was going to come back for more. And we did see him texting Tariq in episode 8 telling him he's going to be back to collect soon. But we never did see him return either in season 1 or season 2. But having said that, he was briefly mentioned in Season 2, Episode 6, when Tariq was released from prison. The kid that died in the pool. Kane sent that kid up here to kill me. Someone named 2-Bit that used to run with my uncle who killed the GTG kid. But uh, he hasn't hit my phone in a minute, so we should be clear. So he hadn't hit Tariq's phone up in a minute and he thinks he's in the clear for now anyway because who knows whether he'll show up at some point in the future. So let's talk about 2 bits return and how it could work either on Power Book 2 Ghost or Force.
Now, there are actually so many ways they could integrate Tube back into the storyline in the Power Universe. But starting with Tariq and Power Book 2 Ghost, the most simple way to bring him back would be to come back and collect something he said he'd do in Season 1. But something they need to answer is, where did he go and why didn't he appear in the whole of Season 2? But moving on, something I mentioned earlier on in the video was Ghost Rolex. And the reason why I said we need to pay attention to this small detail is the way they focused on this on three occasions. And let's not forget, Ghost Watch Collection was passed down to Tariq, something he noticed 2-Bit had when he came to Stansfield in Season 1, Episode 6. And I really wouldn't be surprised if this Rolex did end up around Tariq's wrist by the end of Ghost, either in Season 3, 4, 5 or 6 because technically it does belong to him. But other than 2-Bit coming back to collect and the Rolex, I really feel he could have been someone who could have mentored Tariq in the streets because the one thing Tariq lacks is being able to throw his hands and having 2-Bit around as a soldier really could have benefited him, especially with someone like Kane. And 2-Bit vs Kane is something I would have loved to have seen and we still could see it at some point in the future because these are two real street soldiers who are hands-on and aren't really afraid to get shit done. Although I don't think we've seen 2-Bit in a fight, whereas we know what Kane can do. But regardless, 2-Bit and a Kane showdown really would be something. So let's hope this is something we see in the world of Ghost. Now, another way they can integrate 2-Bit back into the storyline is if they release Crystal Ball from prison and he gets wind of his release because these two weren't exactly on the best of terms in power. Look, man, I can't even look at you right now. Get the fuck out my face, man. You need to take him out. Your man Spanky. Look, I'll handle it. From now on, you're running a blind pig. Let me just go take this shit away from him right now. And this is what we spoke about earlier where we broke down 2-Bit's story in power and how he was replaced by Cristobal as Dre's number 2. So I guess you could say there is some unfinished business between both of them and I'm not sure about you guys but I always hated the way Cristobal had Dre set up Julio. So if Cristobal was to return at some point in the future, he needs to be taken care of whether it's by 2-Bit, Tariq or whoever else, he definitely needs to catch a hot one. But that's 2 bit returning in the world of Ghost. But what if he returns in force? And how could that work? By the way, I took care of Dre. My man. We straight, 2 bit. You keep your head up in there. So 2 bit has always been someone who is loyal to the game and the streets, with him willing to ride out the time he had in prison because he knows the consequences of snitching. And this is something Tommy values, loyalty, something which he found with Liliana. But Tommy has lost so many loved ones in the past with Lakeisha, Holly, Ghost and him killing his own father, Teresi. And just when you think nothing could ever bring him that pain again, Liliana dying in his arms definitely did. But what this also does is create an opportunity for someone else to come into his circle and organization because at the moment it's just him, JP and Diamond and he's gonna have to start from scratch yet again in Season 2. And as Claudia once said in Force, chaos creates opportunities. So Tubish return really could be timely for Tommy because he's gonna have to build again and he'll need as many loyal soldiers he can get because he's gonna have all sorts of enemies from Jannard, the Flins and I'm sure there's gonna be a few more in Season 2. But it really does depend on whether Tommy knows he's out of prison and whether Tubi actually knows Tommy's alive. But having said that, he is a very intelligent character and I'm sure he knows Tommy's not dead, regardless of what was reported in the media after he faked his death in season 1 of Ghost. So that's 2-Bit and there really is a number of ways they can spin this from him coming back to collect from Tariq, his beef with Cristobal or potentially even being a soldier for Tommy. But the one I really want to see is this interaction with him and Kane. But drop all your thoughts down below in the comment section and let me know what you make of the 2-Bit situation and whether we could see him return in the Power Universe either on Ghost or Force. Drop all your thoughts down below and of course if you're new to the channel and you haven't done so already, then remember to smash the subscribe button if you want to see everything Power Book 2 Ghost and Power Universe related. But as always, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.